Oh, hey, you caught us in the middle of decorating for our Mosasaurus celebration. Well, you wait on us to finish decorating. You can go talk to our director of paleontology and our director of the museum. On September 24th, we're celebrating a special anniversary here at the Georgia Southern University Museum. And that is the founding day of our first fossil, the Mosasaur. The Mosasaur was discovered in South Dakota, uh, but was a fossil that was once here in the ancient oceans of South Georgia. Dr. Gail Bishop and Dr. Pedewick uh, once excavated, brought it back here to Statesboro, and as I say, it was our founding fossil. Uh, in the early years of the museum, you could come in and just see them working on the first of this material, bringing it out of the matrix and getting it ready for uh, students to see and then the general public. So it first moved into this building in 1980, but once they had completed the entire uh, assemblage, uh, they opened it up to the public in 1987. So 35 years ago is our anniversary. Uh, he's been here through most of the history of the Georgia Southern University Museum, and we've got generations of kids that remember the Mosasaur and identify the museum because of this special fossil. And so it's a great opportunity to celebrate all of that long history of the museum and our service to the community through our founding fossil, the Mosasaur. Mosasaurs are ancient marine reptiles that lived at the end of the Cretaceous period. The Mosasaur behind me is of the species Hylosaurus perger, which lived 78 million years ago in the oceans that were once above South Dakota. Mosasaurs are most closely related to modern snakes and monitor lizards. They were fully aquatic, which meant they spent all of their time in the water. There are a variety of sizes of mosasaurs, and our Tylosaurus perger is one of the largest. This specimen itself is 26 feet long. The largest mosasaur of Tylosaurus could be as long as 45 feet. And there are other mosasaurs that might exceed 50 feet in length. Our Tylosaurus perger and other mosasaurs were predators. Tylosaurus would have ate things like fish, uh, seabirds, and even other smaller mosasaurs. And in fact, a smaller mosasaur were found with the remains of the one that's behind me. Mosasaurs have a very interesting feature in their mouth called throat teeth. So if you look at the skull, mosasaurs have teeth around the margin of their mouths like we do, but then on the top, they have another set of teeth. This second set of teeth would help their prey continue to go down their throats after they caught it in the ocean while it was swimming. Mosasaurs went extinct 66 million years ago alongside dinosaurs. Happy anniversary!